What's up, everybody? Hey, it's going to be short and sweet today. Uh, TGIF. Uh, hope everybody's NFL team had a good draft, except for anybody in the NFL Central. Bears, Lions, Vikings. Y'all can suck it. <laughs> and what's up with Aaron Rodgers? Like, seriously, guy. Like, I get it. You're salty. You want to be in California for Jeopardy and your Hollywood girlfriend or fiance or whatever. I get it. But, bro, if you run in, if you scramble and run that ball in on third and goal, we're not having all this drama. Okay? Instead, third and goal from, like, what, the 11, 8, or whatever the heck it was, escapes the pocket, has a clear path, probably has to dive into the end zone, but he scores. If he scrambles forward, instead throws the ball away, incomplete, into double coverage on the goal line somewhere. I think Devontae Adams was his target. Who knows? I was probably hoping for a miracle. But, bro, the GOATs run that ball in. I remember being in Vegas at, like, where, where, where were we? We're at some, we had some reservation at some like sports bar at Planet Hollywood. I forget what it's called. The book, maybe, it's called? Something like that? I remember just flying off my stool, seeing the clear path of the end zone, and then throwing... I, that was my only outburst, was throwing my hat down, and why didn't you run? So that's always been Rodgers, you know. An amazing quarterback, Hall of Famer, MVP, Super Bowl champ, back in the day. <laughs> Long time ago. Uh... But yeah, that's his MO. He doesn't like throwing the incomplete pass. Definitely awesome not having the the stress of what the gunslinger Brett Favre was like, you know. He'd love and hate him because he'd just throw some terrible interceptions and stuff. But Rodgers is not like throwing that damn ball away. He'll take a sack. And I'm no armchair quarterback. It's just my conservative, you know. With my coaching background and football background, it's just those are some of the things that just drive me crazy. So it's been a, an amazing ride with Aaron Rodgers. Don't get me wrong, no hate, but dude, if you run that ball in on third and goal, we're not having this conversation. Instead, he entertains these questions like, whose decision was it to kick the field goal? Like, dude, I get it. You don't kick the field goal and give the ball back to freaking the greatest of all time, Tom Brady. I get it, but bro, run the ball in and we're all good. We're all good. And we're going to the damn Super Bowl, probably. <sighs> so, um, all that draft and Aaron Rodgers. Um, what do you want to call it? What do they call that on YouTube? Not babble. I forget. It wasn't a rant. I forget what they call it on YouTube when you just talk about something not relative to what you're going to show. Um, that's a good segue to what I have here in the mail. Just a couple cheap um, Facebook pickups. One of these, I think I got this for two fifty. I love, you know, what is this set? Twenty ten tops. Um, is this tops? Yeah. So I picked up Nick Collins. He was on that Super Bowl winning team. Um, nice autograph. Came in nice and safe. You'll see what I mean about being safe. Came in a penny sleeve as requested. Just 250 for this. Um, so yeah, nice autograph. Good for the uh, the vertical, cheap and dirty, or you know, fire sale, you know, Packers and Brewers pickups. And then this was a little, little bit discouraging. Got an amazing deal on this. Kind of took, I took a chance on one of these autographs and Hall of, a Hall of Fame autograph. Um, got a message here. Um, took a chance on one of them. I think it's, I think it's legit. It's an early signature. There were some good tells on it that made me think it was authentic. Um, I was in the hunt for a Reggie White autograph that the guy had from back in the day in the nineties and just, it wasn't consistent. The, the, the double G's on the Reggie were way off. Other parts of it were consistent. A little bit on the Bible inscription was off, but man, I eyeballed all of the, you know, side by side on the iPhone. I, I, I eyeballed everything on eBay that was certified to see if that Reggie White was close and I had to pass on it. But 
he ended up asking me what I was hunting for, and I said, hey, I'm, I'm down for Packers and Brewers, you know. So he hit me up on Instant Messenger. Is that what they call it? Instant Messenger? Facebook PMs, whatever. But when he shipped it, you guys see the ink transfer? That's a no-go. No penny sleeves on these. So the transfer happened on this card, okay? A little bit here. That's fine, right? This is this is a cheap old card. Um, but Craig Newsom, speaking of which, his son got drafted. Newsom was shutting down my guy. Uh, I coach at Waukesha North High School, and the star athlete we had over the previous four years before last year um, was Chimray DK. He took a full ride scholarship to the University of Wisconsin, the Badgers. And dude, Newsom shut him down. I know my guy's a, a true freshman playing playing um, on a depleted receiver staff for the Badgers, but dude, uh, Craig Newsom's son got drafted from Northwestern. And um, so it's cool to have a little uh, Craig Newsom here. But yeah, his son was a lockdown on corner on, on Chimray. Chimray's speed is almost the equivalent uh, with no college training because of the COVID, you know, um, is the equivalent of just a little bit off of Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill, I think, runs, his uh, Chimray's dad told me, like uh, 21.3 miles per hour at top field speed. And I think uh, Chimray's at was at 20, 21.1. So 21, just a little bit, just a little bit under 21.1 miles per hour field speed. So... There's a nice Craig Newsome, and this back card. I hopefully, hopefully, this back card is belly to back with a glossy card, not a paper card. Um, and I actually, the backs aren't papery; they are a little bit glossy. So let's cross our fingers. You'll see them as I see them. This one is not portrait, or I mean, yeah, it's not portrait, but it's still a nice grave digger Gilbert Brown autograph. Um, looks good. I dig it. I haven't had a grave digger, uh, Gilbert Brown yet, and uh, I'll probably end up just displaying it like this when uh, I do the Packers display. But here is the card I took a chance on. Hmm. Oh, baby. Come on, mama. Okay, no transfer. Whew. We're good. Oh, I suppose I should have shown this one first. Brian Noble. I had one of him uh, in my binder that I sold a few years ago uh, for my uncle. And what a cool series, what a cool set this was. I, I, I might get into some of this stuff for some TTMs. We'll see if I can get motivated for NFL TTMs, just for Packers and Brewers. Obviously the Brewers aren't NFL, but boom. I took a chance on this early Brett Favre. Let me see if we can get a focus. And really, um, you know, his early stuff really varies as far as how big his B is and, you know, how precise he, he was with the F, how clean it is. Um, but really for me, the tell was the four. I really feel like the four with, you know, the angled, um, you know, the down and over, that was really consistent, you know, over over his years, so I just took a chance on this. I think I got all of these for 19 shipped. Cannot complain whatsoever, especially when the guy had a TJ TJ Watt Badgers card. He wanted 30 for it, and he was offering me the Reggie White for 15. He was, you know, a lot of what I'm saying when I'm verbalizing this, it makes it seem like the guy was just kind of a little bit, eh. but he was legit. Uh, he just didn't really know what he had. Um, and he wasn't claiming everything was authentic. Uh, but the Reggie Whites, uh, he had an 8x10 that was definitely stamped. And uh, the card just wasn't legit. So back in the 90s, I really believe that Reggie White had a lot of stamps. and um, Or facsimiles or whatever you want to call it. But there we go. Green Bay Packers legend and Hall of Famer Brett Favre. I like it. Looks clean. PSA, no, not PSA, BGS is actually going to be here the second Wednesday in May. So I may just drop this off for encapsulation. I'm glad that BGS is doing uh, drop-offs for encap encapsulation. Look at this. What a cool picture that is. 
the grave digger, Gilbert Brown. I mean, he was so good here in Wisconsin that they even had a freaking Gilbert Burger for the guy. So that's it, you guys. I hope, again, if you're not, uh, if you're not a, I wish Justin Fields the best for the Bears. I really do. Justin Fields um, did some, he was at a quarterback camp for the guy, for the kid that I, I coached for five years. Um, all the way through last year, through freshman football, I coached um, our, I'll call him a star quarterback here in Waukesha from fifth through freshman year. So I was with him for five years, amazing kid. And he went to um, um, a, quarter, a quarterback camp in Atlanta by invite. And uh, Fields um, was one of the guys that was there. Really cool guy, came from ASU. So the guy that I was coaching with is a OSU. Did I say OSU? OSU um, graduate, played baseball there. And um, so I've kind of like gravitated towards supporting OSU as well, Ohio State. Um, and Fields, he was a great follow on uh, QB1. That series that they had was amazing. I love that. I love that football stuff. Uh, NFL, uh, what was that, Friday Night Tykes? I was down with that. QB1, love that series. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Uh, hope I hope Fields the best. 14 out of 16 games. Uh, the two versus the Packers, he can suck it. But uh, wish Fields the best. And um, But, yeah, hope you guys all enjoy draft day, uh, round one. And uh, all the best to your teams, you know, in the subsequent rounds. So that's it for me, guys. Went a little bit longer than I thought. But... Man, what is that called when you just talk too much? I'm doing it again. Who cares? I forgot. If you remember what it's called, I'm just lost for words. See you guys later.